listen to all kinds of music, including and especially rap, mainly Eminem, right? So when that whole Machine Gun Kelly Eminem beef happened, I was very interested. I hadn't heard of Machine Gun Kelly until last year when that whole rap devil came out. And I think about things like that. I think of, especially with rap battles, like old school feuds, you know, East Coast versus West Coast. I'm just watching something on Netflix right now talking about how when the LA rap hip hop scene started taking off, there were people in New York who were like, Pfft, they even do that? New York thought they had the hold, apparently, on hip hop. And so there was this rapper named Tim something who put out a song called F Compton. <laughs> I never knew that that was an issue. I knew there, was, there were rivalries, but to watch like these bigger names talk about how, yeah, we thought New York had the the hold of, we thought that was gonna be our export to the world was hip hop. So when we found out people in LA were doing it, that kind of blew our minds. And that blew my mind, I'm like, to me they're just two major urban cities, you know, and most of the music I like, like I listen to, I bump a little Dre, you know, I was like, oh yeah, West Coast is, that's, you know, I, I had no idea that there was this, like this big, almost inferiority complex going on with uh, the rappers from LA. That stuff's very interesting to me. I love to listen to songs like No Vaseline by Ice Cube. I mean, I know this stuff is like 25 years old already, so I'm very late to the to the punch on this. But th think about that rap, the rap devil, okay, with MGK. That dude was taking on, you know, Eminem was one of, I mean, he talks about it, how he was one of his idols. So, he took on Eminem, and I, I like the song, you know, I'm not a huge Machine Gun Kelly fan by any means, but he's decent. And I was thinking, for him, that must have been crazy to, uh, to basically take on one of your idols, you know? So, since I obsess about this type of, like, music and everything, the thing I thought about was, MGK will never probably mention it in public, but inside he's gotta be going, holy crap, I can't believe Eminem even not only knows who I am, but wrote a song about me, even though it's a diss song, Kill Shot. Like there's gotta be a part of him that looks at the growth that he's had and goes, Oof, that's pretty amazing. So that's the motivation is, you have to stay in this game, you know, for there to be growth. Like I look at all of the uh, the problems that go along with the bands, bands in general, you know, and I I remind myself, hey, at least you're still in the game. Like, oh man, I gotta learn to run sound now. At least I'm still in the game and I have a band to run sound with. I got I gotta buy a powered sub. Well, guess what? Then you'll have a powered sub, so you'll have a bigger, more complete PA, and you'll know how to run sound. So all of the problems that come along, I remind myself, ah, oh, I love being in the music scene, I really do. I love when I go to watch other bands and I know the guys and they know me and they ask, hey, how's it going? I'm like, I got a show Friday or whatever. I love being busy. I, last night I drove home from Marinette, Wisconsin. I didn't get back to like 7.30 in the morning. Love it all. Because we had a show Friday and Saturday night. That's cool. For me. <laughs> um, so stick with it. I guess that's the point. All the problems you have. I also remind myself that if the biggest problems and the biggest worries I have are band related, then things are going pretty well in my life. And thank God for that. So this is a shorter one today. Point is, if you're going through hell, keep on going. That's kind of a cliche, but it's true. You know, you don't stop. You don't stop. You can't. Because uh, the world doesn't stop, so you got to keep up with it. In the meantime, maybe watch that Netflix Hip Hop Evolution, I believe it is, it is on on, uh, on the Netflix, like I just said. <laughs> I love that stuff. I love hearing about struggles that I had no idea about existed. Very cool. Okay, that's it, rockers. Country music peoples. Polka players, I don't know. 
musicians in general, all of us. Like I said, we don't stop because uh, people don't fail, they give up. Remember that? Because that's true. Talk to you later.